there, everyone. Welcome to Mrs. Guevara's Story Corner. It's me, Mrs. Guevara, welcoming my kindergartners today and all of my friends. Today, I wanna to start out with some hard outs. I wanna think of my special friends who've been working hard and finding new things and doing some really great writing, their personal best. Let's look at Sophie. She, even though it's not easy e-learning, look at her grumper face. She pulled it around to do some super red word writing and some great sentences too. Also, Charlie, he found a great big toad in his yard. Look at that guy. And his writing looks very good too. Personal best. And Adam, he's been a scientist, a paleontologist digging around. Wow. London, she had her own kindergarten growing. Look at me in there. Can you see that cup with my face on it? Looks like I might need a haircut, maybe in real life too. Harriet has also been a super writer. Two pages from Harriet. Awesome work to all of you. How about my special helper? Who's my special helper? Special Hi. helper. There's Ruben. Ruben, good to see you, bud. Let's nice put to on your here. tag. Ooh, he brought a little tiny friend. Yeah. Who is that? I brought a panda bear. Oh, good. We are going to talk about that panda bear today. And two books. Yes. You know, we've been thinking about animals. We've been thinking about doing our personal best. Today, I want to talk about a fun way to combine the two of them. You know, a long time ago, maybe you remember this, maybe not. Your dad had an important meeting and we had to keep busy for quite some time. So what we decided to do was make a zoo in our living room. And so we started to sort all of our stuffed animals, groups by groups, the ones that maybe went in the ocean, in the Arctic, in the jungle, in the desert. We sorted and sorted. And I was thinking maybe my kindergartners would like to make a zoo at their house too. It's a fun way to use this time, because we've got some time, and to use all your stuffed animals. I bet you have a ton like we do. Ruben brought two books for us today. One, a nonfiction book. What do you do with a tail like this? This is a really quick story. And there are more places in our house, and I know maybe for you too, that where you can find out some great facts about animals. One place I like to do my research, have you ever gone on Pebble Go? I have. It's been a long time, but I have been on Pebble Go. Maybe when you were in elementary school. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to share that login with my kindergartners where they can find out really interesting facts about all kinds of animals. This book is interesting because it talks about what animals do with tails, with noses. Can you tell what kind of an animal uses that nose? Mm -hmm. that elephant, awesome. yes. Then there's this where it talks about, what's this page all about? It explains what each nose of an animal is. Yeah, does. so it uses the page before and then it explains. This one is, what do you do with ears? And you kind of take a guess which animal is which. Can you tell which animal that might be? Might be a rabbit. Yeah, it's a special kind of rabbit. And then on the next page, it shows you what the ears and who the ears belong to. This one matches the cover. What do you do with a tail like these and this? Can you tell which animal has this kind of a tail? Scorpion. Ooh, yes. a little creepy. A tail for a scorpion or a tail for a? Skunk. Ooh, that one also. This one, what do you do with? Eyes. Eyes like, like these, yes. And what do you do? It shows you what maybe an eagle eye would be. At the very back of the book, it tells you so many great details about each one of those animals and maybe what their specific name is, not just eagle, but it's called the bald eagle. And it gives you more and more details about each one. Mm -hmm. I like nonfiction stories and books like this because you can learn a lot. And Pebble Go is another spot where you can look online if you don't have all those books already at your house. We'll read this fiction book in a little bit, but first, I want to talk about what a zoo could look like at our house. Maybe at our house or at your house if you're thinking about making a zoo. First thing we need to do is sort our animals. Yeah. We have to think, could this actually go in a zoo or is this maybe a pretend animal? Yeah, okay. What do you think? A zebra? I think I've seen that in a zoo before, yeah. Yeah, I think we could have a zebra, a zoo with a zebra. Hmm, what about Eeyore? 
You was a little, little on the edge there. I'd say no on that one though. Yeah, I think probably not Eeyore. And Elmer might go in that same spot. Hmm. What about maybe Sylvester though, right? Well, yeah, I think you could go in a zoo. I've seen snakes in a zoo before. Yeah, maybe we could have a special spot where it's a reptile house. What about Big Bear? Do you think we could have a whole section of bears? Yes. I yes. think we could We have a lot of bears. Do you mind grabbing a few more of the animals? How about this fish? Okay, a whale. We might have a an whale. underwater okay. spot. This guy always says, whale, are you going to let me be in the zoo? I think so, because I, I've seen some, some whales in the zoo. Before. Okay, yeah. great. Look at that guy over there, armadillo. I forget what. Um, sniffles. Sniffles. Do you remember in Texas how many armadillo we would see? They they would be trying to get across the road. Kind of, there was a joke about an armadillo. They just didn't usually make it. But maybe we could have sniffles be inside the zoo. Yeah. And there are a few others. I don't know if we could do T-Rex. That's probably not going to be in the zoo. No. Um, duck might be in the zoo. You could grab that one. Yeah. And I think... Tickles could be in the zoo, yeah. right? He's a pretty standard looking elephant. As long as he's not talking, we wouldn't probably have talking animals in the zoo. Although, you know, a special part of your zoo you could make, you could have your petting zoo. It's fun to put animals in there, like maybe a deer. We have a deer or a puppy, a dog or a little cat. You could have a whole section called your petting zoo. You can even have the vet. You could have a part where animals who are sick can go to that part of the zoo. So that's a special thing. If you're making tags for your animals, this is a great way to use your personal best writing from the week. Do you remember your panda bear you brought? Yes, right here. Okay, I looked up some good facts about bears, panda bears specifically. Do you mind reading them? This might be the plate sure. we would put right next to him at the zoo. Yes. Will you read his facts? Panda bears, panda bears eat bamboo. Pandas are pink when they are born. Panda bears are mammals. Panda bears are black and white. Okay, so we could have, may, you know how at the zoo they have the facts yes, right outside yeah, of yeah. the cage? I just did how we did a who am I at school. We could almost do it like that about our animals that we wanted to highlight. I challenge you to do that and maybe send me a picture. Another fun thing that we could do at our zoo, and we did this when we took my zoo from home and I took it to kindergarten before many times. We had a tickets booth outside of our zoo. If you guys wanted to make homemade tickets, you don't have to make them this big. You can make little red tickets for your zoo as well. And the best part of a zoo, popping popcorn and having a concession stand. So if people bought tickets, they could also get some popcorn. How does that sound? Kind of Delicious. fun? Yes. Do you think we should read a story that has a little bit of a zoo in it? Yes. Okay. We we'll put Big Bear by you there. And this story is called Moon Bear's Dream. Now, something really special about this book, Ruben, is it was given to you at the hospital when Milo was born by my kindergarten teacher friend, Mrs. Eisner. She said, Yay, Ruben, you're a big brother. And she said, Love, Kate. Mm -hmm. So that was special. Did you know this was your book? Yes, I did. I've read oh. it many times. Oh, Moon Bear's Dream. Let's see if you see that it starts with an opening of the zoo. Do you see what's happening at the zoo? The kangaroo escapes. Mm hmm. A kangaroo would be a good one to have in a zoo at home. Okay, you go ahead and be a, a narrator if you'd like. I'll be the voices. One day, a kangaroo with a joey in her pouch escaped from the zoo and wandered through Bear's yard. Do you see what I see? Asked Little Bird. I sure do, replied Bear. But I can't believe my eyes. Looks like something from a dream. Maybe we are dreaming, chirped Little Bird. Yeah, that's it, cried Bear. We're probably asleep in our beds right now. Maybe we should wake ourselves up, said Little Bird. Why not have some fun first, chuckled Bear. He went inside took down his honey jar and started scooping it out started, started scooping it out big pawfuls of honey why are you saving that honey for winter asked little bird Ooh. now you and i are thinking hmm is it really a dream 
probably was not. No, they just thought it was because it was so bizarre that a kangaroo was hopping in the yard. So now is the part where we kind of feel embarrassed for them. Well, this is dream honey, said Bear. I can eat it all up now, and it will still be here when I wake up. What a great idea, said Little Bird. And he flew to the shelf where he kept his bird seed. And tons of little bird seed. When Bear finished his honey, he dropped the jar on the floor. Crash! Are you going to clean that up? Asked Little Bird. Why bother? Said Bear. When I wake up, this mess will be gone. That's right. Chirped Little Bird. And he pushed a vase of flowers off the table. Let's make a mess! Woohoo! Let's make a big mess! Cried Bear. Boop, 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 boop. Teeter totter with the ironing board. What fun! L whooped Little Bird. And we don't have to clean it up. All we have to do is pinch ourselves and wake up. Then everything will be neat and tidy again. We're throwing it all around. I love this dream, said Bear. What shall we do next? Let's go for a dream swim and pick some dream berries, chirped Little Bird. Okay, agreed Bear, and they walked to the pond. I think they're having a dream swim. While the two friends had fun together, the kangaroo wandered into Bear's house, and that's where the zookeeper found her. Oh my, he cried, look what you've done. So the kangaroo was caught inside of Little Bear's house, and it looked like kangaroo had made the mess. The zookeeper quickly picked up the, cl the clutter and swept the floor. He even gave Little Bird new bird seed and fixed B Bear's honey jar. Then he tried to catch his kangaroo. When Bear and Little Bird returned from the pond, Bear said, I don't want to see that mess again. Me neither, chirped Little Bird. Let's wake up. Okay, said Bear, and they pinched themselves. Boop. So and let's quick look. We had a we have a bear, and I know we had a little bird around here somewhere. See? Oh yeah. So they just pretended to pinch themselves. Then Bear opened his door. Everything was neat and tidy. Perfect. Bear's winter honey jar was full, and so was Little Bird's seed bag. Ooh. Gosh, that was fun. So Little Bird. But how come we're not in our beds? Bear, Bear th thought for a moment. Then he said, We must have been sleepwalking. Oh, that sleepwalking tired me right out. <sighs> Little bird yawned. Me too. Bear yawned back. <sighs> Let's take a nap. Sweet dreams. Said Bear. Sweet dreams. Chirped Little Bird. Why do you think they were so tired? Because they actually did do all that stuff. <laughs> oh, it worked out perfectly. Yes. Moon Bear has other books. This one's Moon Bear's Dream by Frank Ash. He wrote it and he illustrated it. What a fun story with a little bit of a zoo twist in there. Mm -hmm. Boys and girls, I know we would have a great time sorting out our animals, setting them up around, putting them in the zoo, making more nameplates and tickets. If you go for it, I would love to hear about it. I know you're going to have a great day. I'm proud of each one of you. Thanks, and you're all my favorites. Bye, dears.